Guys, so we've talked about genetics before, and when you think genetics, if you're looking at somebody's black, you say, man, that boy got some genetics on him, especially if he's built like an ox. You see somebody who's, um, well, only is just Negroes, if I'm being honest. You say, that brother built. Um, and then there's some people who've got some athletes, and, you know, from other races, say, boy, you got some good genetics. And other times, it's the juice. That's just the truth. Now, that being said, unfortunately, when there is... When we think about animals and genetics, did you know that one of the worst things to happen to a breed is popularity? If people get their hands involved under the pretense of money, they normally are uneducated. And what happens when a breed gets popular, everybody begins to breed it. But what happens when it begins to be bred improperly? You double up and double down on all the problems. And what does that look like? You start cutting two to three years off of every animal's lives. And uh, I've been looking at getting the Maine Coon, right? I've been talking to a lot of cat breeders and they've been teaching me a lot of stuff, especially about the heart problems. And I heard one person say to me on the phone, who I don't think was, if I'm being honest, really invested. General, cut it out. I don't think was really invested in the cat's quality of life. Now on average, we think a cat lives forever. Well, you know, with bigger animals, they're gonna have heart problems. Well, that's not what this other breeder told me. <laughs> she said that it's not common and people aren't testing for hearts, then you probably shouldn't get a cat from them. So I'm already hearing things that are making me uncomfortable because if you do give somebody this cat's anywhere between $3,500 and $5,000, you go, well, what am I giving you the money for to buy a problem? And you're not even, doesn't even sound like you care. You think, oh, whatever, because there's an opportunity to make money. So if ever you want, to get involved in something, study what was, study what is, study the future. But I assure you, nine out of 10 problems that come with breeding, especially something popular, are not genetics from a positive light. When you see a bully and it's got the muscles, you see a pit bull and it's got the muscles. A pit bull's a different dog. You don't see a lot of problems, that's the truth. But you see the bully, it's got this, it's got this, this, and that. I'd be like, well, tell me a little bit more about the dog. Now, how important are genetics? When you think about BRAC1, which is the breast cancer gene, it's so important that what ended up happening, women are now getting their breasts removed to prevent even the risk of cancer popping up in their life. That's how important real genetics are. So when we're studying disease, we're studying genetics, I assure you, I have no interest in how big a dog's head is, how much it weighs, how fast it even can run. We do those things for fun. But in retrospect, if we're studying things long term and how to impact change from a health standpoint, the genetics that I must study and will be studying are things that are in association with actually what's going on with the dog long term and how we can impact it by way of measuring our own risk. And this right here, for instance, chapter 10, breed clubs control and genetics disease. So the American Kennel Club in each breed, mind you, there's over 200 breeds. Ooh. That's interesting. So for instance, table 10. Table, table 10 one. Genetic disease of carrying terriers. You see heart tissue disease. <whistles> Hip dysplasia. OC, I don't even know. If, OCD, these dogs need organization. Cleft palate, crooked tail, overbite, overshot. Neuro neurological disease. And this is just one dog. These are all the things that, blood heart disease, over aggressiveness. This, this is all just one dog. Frequency of inheritance, all this stuff. Because I assure you, if you want to study genetics, if you want to better the breed, if you want to better your dogs, if you want to get better your program, really focus on the things that are scalable. If you're going to do this for 10, 15, 20 years, if you're doing this, I've heard people say, I want to pass something to my son. Then make sure you're passing him an opportunity, not condemnation. Condemnation is putting him in a position where he's going to fail because you never studied how long the dog's going to, what, what you're really up against. And in the American Bully, from my understanding, based on my years of work. It keeps getting worse before it gets better. We've doubled up on all the pups, dogs, and pets that are out there. And I assure you, nine out of 10 people aren't looking to solve for problems other than how much money they could put in their pocket. But again, I repeat, if you're looking at genetics, study what will keep the dog alive as long as possible. And keep taking care of your dogs, people.